The other night I was out with my telescope. This is an LX200, 10 inch. And I had it all mounted on my um, equatorial wedge and everything all set up and powered up. And the hand controller would not come on. The power light, which is right there, right there, turned red, it was on, but the hand controller wouldn't come on. I had another hand controller, plugged it in, and it wouldn't come on either. So I determined that it's probably that internal three volt button battery, and it's located right there, if you can see it. So I had to take it off the stand, the tripod, and bring it all back into the house, and take the base off so I could put in a new battery. I will add that uh, I've had this telescope for, I bet, 20 years and I uh, haven't used it a lot in the last year, but I've only had to replace maybe three batteries in it since that time. So these three volt batteries last a good while. Then after getting the battery, I hooked up the hand controllers before taking it out of the house to make sure everything was working. The hand controller came on, I unplugged it, and put the spare hand controller on, and it did not come on. So I said, okay, I got power, I got one hand controller working, what's the other issue? So I proceeded to check out the hand controllers as to their issues and I changed out the LCD screen on the hand controllers and the LCD screen flat ribbon and everything worked. And these are uh, those uh, button self-adhesive kit that I bought for both hand controllers. So I said, what could be the problem? And the, the cords checked out, so I didn't have any issues with the cords. So what I decided to do was take this hand controller that was not working and apply my small soldering iron tip to these plugs right here. These plugs go to the, uh, the uh, telephone cord looking plug. So I put a little solder on those, or not solder, but a little heat on them and watched it kind of melt a little bit. And after doing all four pins, I went back and plugged it in and it all was working. So what the problem was, the solder joints had come loose evidently on the plugs. So now it's fixed and it's working. Uh, so, what I need to do, I guess, is make sure before I go out in the field with this telescope to hook it all up power-wise and make sure the uh, power comes on. Because changing out that battery, it's a fairly easy task, but you have to you know, take the scope and put it down and take out all six little screws and uh, have it out. So, that's uh, where I am, it's working again. One more thing, when you put this back plate on, make sure you have all the screws started before you start tightening them down. This is the hand controller I fixed. I dimmed the lights to show what's going on. Uh, turn on the power. Lettering looks good, and then it kind of goes dim on a couple of letters. Then it said, Welcome to AutoStar, and it really kind of hard to read, but just wait. When it gets through thinking, I think it brightens everything up. There we go. Now I can. Uh, Go ahead and uh, 
to, to do, do uh, alignments and all that stuff. I'm gonna hit easy. And it's, uh, it's in alt as mode right now. And enter, it's taking the GPS fix. Everything works. 